Hello everyone! Today I am showing something I've been waiting to show and I'm very excited about. Um, if I go over this way a little, you might be able to guess what it is. <laughs> um, woo! That was probably some funky movement there. Um, this is... If I turn this around you can actually see the product name. So this is the Usagi and Tuxedo Mask Figure Arts Zero Show It figure. Um, yeah, uh, I found this on eBay. Um, <laughs> I did a lot of uh, searching, a lot of searching, because some of these figures are going for an outrageous price right now, and I really didn't want to pay that. I'm talking $500 or more, and I really didn't want to pay that, so I did a lot of searching, and actually I'd tried to purchase one that was a really great price, um, but they had already sold it to somebody else, so wah wah. This was the next most affordable one, also making sure that um, it was coming from Japan from a more reputable seller. Um, and I actually have a little bonus uh, that I will share toward the end, but let's take a look at the actual figure, and I know other people have shown this. Um, I don't know. I fell in love with this uh, figure from the minute that I saw the design and actually put on my uh, Facebook. I really want this figure! <laughs> Back when it was still a pre-order. Again, this was a, a Japan uh, fan club exclusive. They, they do that a lot. Um, I just feel really bad. We don't get a lot of opportunities for like international fan club members to get a lot of the good stuff. Right now they're doing one um, where you can get the... What is it? Q-Pot? You can get one of the necklaces or the keychain. The fan club exclusive one. I mean, I don't know. I was thinking about it, but... They, they're very expensive for collaboration. I wish we had had an opportunity to get these. That would have been more enjoyable. I just feel like we get, we're get we very limited with what we can get. Okay, I'm about ready to open this outer box. <laughs> I'm gonna just pull it over here. There goes the outer box. Okay. <laughs> and so... Ding, ding, ding. Here's the actual figure. Yay! I've been waiting so long for this! <laughs> so I will be taking it out of the box, obviously. But let's take a look at how beautiful this is. I think I'll pull back a little. It's the card that comes inside. I feel like I'm being very mean to this box. Also, hopefully you can see more of the figure and less of the giant reflection. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna try to carefully peel the tape back and open it up. So again, if you decide to save up and buy this figure, um, shop around and try to find the most affordable version. Um, authentic version. I mean, if you want authentic. <laughs> Usually helps to either go with um, a reputable collector who maybe is just downsizing their collection. Like, maybe they bought this and um, ended up not wanting it. Or um, often, honestly, look for a seller in Japan. Um, try to stay away from uh, China. Usually those are 
bootleg. Oh, of course, it actually opens over. Okay. Uh, and what other recommendations? Um, yeah, of course, if you see something for a very low price, if the price is too good to be true, it probably is too good to be true. <laughs> it's a good chance it's bootleg. This box is massive. I just want to say that. I mean, the figure isn't tiny, but it is um, not quite as massive as this box entails. This is ah, ginormous. And it's given me grief. Okay, I think I finally have this. Yes. Finally opening. I'm gonna find out it's like taped inside. <laughs> I think it's. No! <laughs> I don't wanna like. Alright, I gotta pull this closer to me because I don't know what it's stuck on. This is how you know that it's the legal copy. It's all. Brand spanking new in package. It is out of plastic box, and now you're going to hear a very loud noise. So just quickly, I'm going to come back in, and very quickly, uh, this is the card that comes inside. I'm going to keep this outside of the box and add it with my other Sailor Moon goods. I think it's right around postcard size. And I don't think... There's any other plastic, so let's just take a look. Oh, pretty good. Uh, close up too, I don't think I'm gonna adjust the focus. <laughs> so, there's the detailing. Very nice. So, sometimes her leg is a little wonky. If you've watched a couple of the videos, you might see that. Uh, I'm not that worried by it. Um, if it does bother me, I'll just heat it up and reset the plastic. Beautiful paint. Woo! You see, they just like fell forward. Nice. And I love this base, it's so pretty. I was just checking how sturdy they are on it, and they're, yeah, it's pretty good. I do not think they're going to be falling off. <laughs> nice! So, there's one last thing before I leave you. <laughs> um, and there might be actually like a part two of this too. Um, but just for comparison, I wanted to see what the bootlegs look like. So I actually got one from Wish. And they're very, 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 very affordable too. Um, I picked one up from Wish and I actually ordered one from eBay too. But that one hasn't come in yet, so that might be part two. Um, but I will show you the one from Wish, which actually came in before this. So, 
Let's see, what does the bootleg look like? And it looks like this. Um, so this is the one from Wish, and it, it's very nice. I would say <laughs> that I was very, very impressed by this bootleg. When I open it, I'm like, if the figure is half as good as this, I'm going to be happy. Um, it's, it's better, by the way. I'll compare the two. So I'm thinking, like, are my eyes deceiving me? Because usually there will be a slight size variation. And so uh, this is slightly smaller because usually what they do is they cast the mold from like that. And then, anyway, it's a whole thing. Um, so it is slightly smaller and the colors aren't quite as beautiful. <laughs> So this is more um, pearlescent. Uh, the way that her hair gradient is done is very nice. Uh, more detailing to the shading and the colors. Uh, let's see. If you can see there, there's a lot of bleeding onto the pearls there. But, I mean, if you look, it's a, it's a pretty nice bootleg. <laughs> I... I am shocked because I have gotten other uh, bootleg garage kits and I've, I've shown them from only Bachelorette and from Wish and you know you can tell they're they're a knockoff they're not anything that great that's a little funky there you see like ugh. it's kind of like a gr grotesque thing on her back like she got a sunburn and like her skin is peeling anyway um, but I would say you know, compared to the other bootlegs that I've gotten, this is actually very nice. So, if you could not afford or find the official one, but you just like the mold of it, you would probably be okay getting a bootleg. Like, don't pass it off as the real thing. Just don't. Be like, but I liked the design, and, you know, picked up a bootleg version. Um, I think I'd be fine with that. Like, don't try to Try to match it. Um, as you can see, their bases are different. Um, the foot stand is different. So here, he actually has like this special base built just for him. Here, his foot foot is just out there in space, and this uh, foot you connect to the base. Um, they both have her uh, pegged in with a pole. Don't break your figure. You just bought this. Okay. So there. I have to be careful with this one because they, you push it in. So they're not like specially sealed to that. But you can see that's where his foot connects. Um, and the other one's just hanging out. <laughs> um, the other thing I noticed is that her leg is just kind of like floaty leg. Like you can see where it's supposed to be pieced in, but it just floats off. Um, there's no little comparison with these two. Uh, if I get the one from China, and I haven't edited this yet, <laughs> I will tack that comparison on. Um, but so far, and, and the Wish one usually comes from China too, So, but I want to see the variation. Like, what group is doing that one as opposed to this? Like, is there a difference? Are they the same? I don't know. Um, but if I get it in time, I will add it on to this and let you see how it is. Um, Overall, yeah, I'd much rather have the real figure. Look at the, look at the colors. Um, the real figure is beautiful. It's so well painted and sculpted. Um, but if there's no way you could ever get this and you just really like the design, you know, it's not bad uh, for the price. It really isn't. So... That is it for now. <laughs> if there's something tacked on, uh, it'll just be added. I will see you next time. Bye.